So um, how's it going so far? How are you finding the training? I am absolutely loving it. I said this to Elaine. I've been on I've been on so many trainings recently and I've been doing so much research, reading everything I can get my hands on and like yeah, I've been to several um of like London youth trainings recently as well. And I said to Elaine, this is like by far the most thorough, informative, like theory based. Yeah. Um I've absolutely loved it. Oh great. Okay. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great to hear. Okay, so having said that, could you tell me two things that you feel like you've gained from the training so far? Yeah, so I think um, there's probably almost like Elaine's kind of helped me with like almost a checklist, like a practitioner checklist. And it's funny because I actually put that on... um, I think one of the boards where we had to say like one of the things that we wanted to gain from it. So one of the things that I've almost been able to take away is like this checklist for myself of things that I haven't already implemented or now I've learned. And I'm like, oh, that, you know, that would be really effective actually. So in that sort of, yeah, in design in my program, I've now got a checklist that I'm going to go back to my program structure and go okay I'm going to introduce that I'm going to implement that I'm going to make sure I'm going to really emphasize you know this bit around reporting and the sort of evaluation piece um so checklist is one of them um and then I think just the theory around it and some of the language like I think there's some things that like I was saying this to Elaine on um on Tuesday's session there's things that because of your background and because you're like part of certain communities you like inherently know some of this stuff like you know the blockers you know the barriers you know some of those like cultural nuances of like how you know you know like for example African parents would perceive non um academic subjects like my parents my pet well both my mum and dad you know my dad's from Sierra Leone had said to me like um I'll go and do you know like go and get a proper job don't work in fashion and it's these like cultural perceptions um or like uh, um socioeconomic perceptions of certain things that like as a young person growing up in that environment and being friends with people that grew up in that environment we're like it's entrenched within us so we like understand it but we maybe can't articulate it so some of the things like this like cultural competence that um elaine's talked through it's really helpful for me to like articulate some of those things now to like the corporates and the mentors that i'll be working with and although i understand it myself sometimes it's hard to explain that to someone that's not from that background so it's given me a lot of the like language and theory around some of the things that maybe I knew but I was maybe struggling to articulate and share with other people so yeah they would be the two big things that first come to mind okay great so um going on from that you did mention something earlier but um can you Tell me one major thing that you'll definitely implement going forward that you've learned from the training. Yeah, um, so one thing would be like this emphasis on youth voice. Um, and, you know, I've run my program for three years and we, you know, are very big on like, Although I'm running the program, I make sure I'm mentoring the young people on my program. So I take like two or one young person in each cohort so I can stay like completely connected to it and like hear what they're saying and things that they're, you know, coming up against so it can inform my practice. But I think one of the things was this... um, it's the consultation bit at the beginning of like working with either I can work with you know the alumni of the young people that I've already been working with or potentially like almost like a group of people that will go on to the next program but like almost do like a pre-work exercise and I think although I feel like youth voice is and like everything we do is like youth centered goal setting and, and youth directed but I just think that there's probably an opportunity to do that in a more structured way so 
the consultation thing that Elaine had showed us in day well for me day one so the Tuesday session and she's brought it up several times over this is just consulting with the young people on how the program can run and how it would be most impactful for them I think that's the that like on every page that I've been scribbling on that's the biggest thing I keep saying youth voice consultation youth voice blah 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 so yeah that would be the the big um immediate takeaway um, all right so next if have you had any light bulb moments or any new perspective that you feel feel that you've gained from taking the train? I think um, probably because it's freshest. It, one of the light bulb moments that I've had is the um, the TED talk that um, Elaine had shared before, just in terms of how how scientific this stuff is. So that the Aces thing and. Um, Again, it's one of those things that you like and couldn't know and you could guess and me and my friends will talk about. But like, and you know, obviously you see it and you are close in terms of those experiences. Like my, my best friend has that lived experience. You know, she's got childhood trauma and I can see the long term, obviously being so close with her as a child. Although I never experienced it, I saw every moment of that and the impact that it had. And then all that, now that I'm in our, we're in our thirties, I can see that drawn out into into longer life. So I can talk to that and I understand it. But seeing that sort of like science behind it, and then not just those like short term things in terms of like you know her mother was an alcoholic, so she turned to alcoholism. But like even things like it actually being so detrimental to like lifespan you know like you're more prone to like heart disease cancer and things like that you know it's not necessarily a light bulb moment but it's like I guess the light bulb moment is where Elaine said before we are impacting public health um, and we contribute to you know public health targets and that was the light bulb moment which is like actually this work is like I always talk about my work impact and social mobility and how passionate I am about that because for me personally I have experience I've been in the home of people that have come from nothing and and work their way like really like work their way up so I've felt the immediate impact of social mobility but like I think yeah just when Elaine said before about like our work actively contributes to public health targets and social mobility that it was that light bulb moment for me where I was like this is actually really powerful what we're doing and our contribution and actually how accountable we are with the young people that we're serving. I'm happy to hear that it's all coming together and that you yeah. a lot of it's so useful. That's really, really amazing because yeah. obviously what we want, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so finally, I would just ask for feedback purposes, like would you, from what you've learned in the training, would you recommend the training to someone else? A hundred and fifty percent. Like, on, honestly, I'm, I, I mean this um, so much when I say of all the, and you know, it's funny because Elaine thought as a learner, I was a bit of a theorist and I'm not, I'm an activist. Like, I'm the type of person that just normally like gets in, you know, gets the hands dirty with it and like goes with it. But like, I'm very impressed by intelligence and theory and I've I literally I've been on the phone to my dad being like this Elaine woman she knows so much I've learned so much compared to all of the research that I've done over this year and when I tell you there's been research I'm like getting up at like six in the morning reading every day and stuff like that like this for me has just been yeah the, 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 the like creme de la creme of what I've experienced in terms of learning so um, I couldn't recommend it enough could you just let me know or let us know so I just have it here um, mm -hmm. what, why you were doing the training and what you've been needing it for like the kind yeah. of yeah 
yeah. Um, so obviously I run a career development mentoring program um, for youth that are passionate about pursuing careers in fashion um, and to help break down some of the barriers that people from people of colour and people from lower socioeconomic backgrounds face when trying to pursue a career in um, that industry. Um, I've been running the programme for three years, but I, it is my absolute mission to make sure that the work that we do is as impactful as possible um, and as informed as possible. So I've been on a bit of a journey this year to just really level up as a practitioner and level up in terms of the service that we're offering. Um, and yeah, I almost want to approach this like I do with my actual paid full-time job which is like just 100 um, percent and everything in it and and that's why i took um this program because i yeah i just um I, I really believe in in like it's solid impact and i think that we can we can make a change um yeah okay i'm thrilled i'm happy that you're happy and you're satisfied with what you're learning and you're excited yeah. <laughs> about you know the future <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Leanne.